Love Travelers, it's a list for means to travel and today I'm going to be doing another travel product review. This time I'm going to be reviewing a cleanser and exfoliator product that is powder based and not a liquid, which would be great for travelers simply because it allows you to not have another liquid in your bag. This product is actually the Clinique for men and I'll get to that in a second. Super Energizer Anti-Fatigue Exfoliating Powder Cleanser. Kind of a mouthful, <laughs> but what I wanted to emphasize before is that from working in the skincare industry when I was in college, I learned that men's skin and women's skin is all the same for the most part, and most products are simply marketed in a way that caters to either men or women. So products themselves, especially cleansers and exfoliators, can be used by men and women. For example, my husband and I actually use the exact same exfoliator typically. Um, it is right here. It's the Origins Modern Friction Nature's Gentle Dermabrasion. It's a rice-based exfoliator and it's a bit of a gel-like formula. And what would be cool is if we are able to find that this is very effective as well and can replace a gel that we typically take while traveling um, with a powder that can be water activated. So this came as a sample to me with some other Clinique products that I had ordered a few weeks ago and I've been super excited to try this out with you guys um, and shoot a video basically of me washing my face but hopefully in a helpful way. So the way that this is described, um, I have a little brochure here and actually the product comes in this bottle and not in a, the little packet like I have, I just have that sample. Um, but it is described as a power wash for instantly energized skin and today is the perfect day for me to do this video because I did not sleep very well last night and my skin is needing some energy. So um, I think what's cool about this is that it says it will purify, invigorate, and retexturize. And the other interesting element to this product is that it can act as a cleanser and an exfoliator depending on how you add water to it. So it says if you want to use it daily as a cleanser, you activate with water to create a refreshing foaming face wash that leaves skin looking brighter and energized. Or if you want to use it as an exfoliator two to three times a week, add just a few drops of water for a deep cleansing exfoliator that buffs away dullness, retexturize preps for smoother shaves. Or as a woman, probably for smoother makeup application. <laughs> but I'm very excited to try this out. So. Um, I'm about to just put on my headband and my hair tie and get going. So let's get started. So my headband and hair tie in place and I literally have nothing on my skin right now at all. Um, I have not cleansed my skin this morning and um, I'm about to open up this packet with a pair of scissors. So here we go. Now I have a bit of a funnel here um, so I don't have to use all of the product at once. Okay. Let's get going. So right now I'm gonna start out with trying it out as a cleanser first and then I'll move to an exfoliator. So here we go. I'm gonna activate it with water in my hand and then just start washing my face. Observations as I was doing this is um, it definitely needed very little water to activate as a cleanser which was interesting because I feel like I'm going to mess this up as an exfoliator for that reason um, but I think um, it was a very interesting experience because it was pretty much unscented which I like um, especially as something that I would share with my husband I wouldn't want it to be manly scented or female scented I think it's pretty great that um, it doesn't have any extra fragrance then um, it didn't foam up as much as some of the cleansers that I'm used to using, um, but that's okay because I think it still has this deep clean. I feel um, a tightening a little bit in my pores, um, and that's probably a good thing because I typically have oily skin. So hopefully that means some of that oil was released and um, I was able to wash away any residue on my face. So now I'm gonna get started with trying this out as, a, as an exfoliant and um, I think I need to add the water to my hand first. We'll see. <laughs> um, because I just need a little bit of water, I'm pretty sure, in order to uh, use this powder to exfoliate. So here we go. As 
an exfoliator, it's certainly not a competitor to the Origins Modern Friction. Um, I couldn't quite feel the exfoliation part of it um, unless I was doing it really dry, which just kind of felt like it might be hurting my skin more than anything. Um, so I'm not too convinced that I would use this as an exfoliator necessarily. Um, maybe if I really was trying to cut down on what I brought on a trip, I would give it a go, but I prefer the Modern Friction for sure. That being said, um, I think that this is a really cool alternative to a liquid or foaming cleanser for your face and can really save room <laughs> in my suitcase if I start to use this as my main face wash. Um, so I actually would recommend this if you're looking for a non-liquid alternative to a face wash for traveling. And I think I want to comment on one more element and it's that it's called a super energizer cleanser. I don't know if you can see it if it's going to autofocus, but I don't necessarily feel like I understand that claim. I think it's definitely um, making my face feel rejuvenated, which is fantastic, but there's nothing about it that's necessarily waking up my face in the way that maybe a citrus scented cleanser might do. So I would give this um, definitely a good review for a travel friendly face cleanser, not necessarily an exfoliant, but I think this is something that I might add to the mix, especially for trips when I really need to conserve my liquid space. So I hope this type of content was really helpful for you all travelers. I personally love watching travel product reviews on YouTube because I find that I learn a lot about new products and are able to continually update and optimize what I bring on trips to be the best options possible. So if you liked this video and want me to create more travel review content, please give this video a thumbs up below and also feel free to press that red subscribe button so you never miss a video that I put out on this channel. Thanks everybody. Happy travels. Cheers. Hey travelers, don't forget to subscribe and press that notification bell so you don't miss when I put out new and awesome travel videos.